Leroy Smith is one of the least played characters in the game. And with this guide, I hope I can change that. Okay, let's talk Leroy. My personal opinion is that he is one of the most cool, if not the coolest newcomers to the series in decades. In Tekken 7, he was super OP and they nerfed him a couple of times actually. But even though with the nerfs, it is just the character has so much style in my opinion that he still makes up for it. Now in Tekken 8, they nerfed him even more. Um, a lot of his tools feel weak when you play him. But I think if you like movies like this, the appeal of the character is personality and the style he has. And he is the grandmaster of drip, right? He, he comes with so many cool outfits. He has a dog companion named Sugar. That Sugar also has insane drip, by the way. And all that combined, I think Leroy is still worth playing. The pro players will tell you that Leroy is uh, the weakest character in the game and all that stuff. And maybe that is true for, for competitive pro player scene, like people who go to Tekken World 2 and stuff. But if you just started to play this game, I think you should give Leroy a try. Because Leroy, he still is... A super stylish character to play. His moves are super fancy, he does the Wing Chun Ip Man stuff and with the white hair and the black skin with the gold in his outfits it's just it just oozes style right. So if you've not tried Leroy yet you, you started with Tekken 8 you're a beginner and um, you need something to start with. This guide is for you. One small information for you guys here. There are people who ask me about like what does one, two, three and all that means. So it's pretty simple. I will now show you a chart that displays the one, two, three, four buttons and also the directional keys. With the directional keys it's quite it's quite obvious. Yeah, so down that's D and uh, forward that's f that's F. But uh, once you get the one, two, three four notations down you will realize it's actually pretty easy so this is here for you i will leave this on the screen so you can always see the notations what they mean and now let's start with the poking game so leroy's pokes you can start with one one it is safe but you cannot continue your assault if you do one one you're minus nine so that means uh you better start blocking. This is the thing with Leroy. A lot of characters in Tekken 8, they feel very oppressive. Leroy does not feel oppressive, not that much. Therefore, you might play him and you might have the feeling that he is not as strong as other characters. The thing with Leroy is you just have to stay a little bit more on the defensive side in a very aggressive game. And um, this is where this is where, where it seems like Leroy is uh, so weak, right? You can even see here, if you hit 1-1, one, one, it is still not a natural, right? It becomes a natural on counter hit. And that is the that's the thing. So um, you cannot just poke all the time at the enemy to get plus frames. Uh, you really need to hit confirm a lot of stuff. But if you hit confirm, you can hit confirm 1-1 one, one into more stuff like 1-1, one, 1-2-1, one, 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 yeah? Another poke you can use is 2-1. You can continue that string, but you, you, as you can see, this is also not a natural. So when you're just poking, uh, keep it at 2-1. Another poke you have is 3-3. Uh, it's also a fantastic round ender. You will see it in a lot of uh, example clips at the end of this guide. It also has decent range. And another good poking tool from, uh, from a more range, right? It's not... It's not as fast as jabs, but you have decent range. It's a 4-4. Four, four. So you can even use this as a poking from a little bit more far. So keep your pokes, um, keep them at two hits, right? 1-1, 2-1, 3-3, 4-4. One, one, three, three, four, four. That's what you want to do with poking. And w when, you, when you hit confirm 1-1, one, one, this is then when you want to continue the string into 1 plus 2 and then 1. Let's move over to fancy stuff. So one of his most fancy moves is uh, 
down, back, one plus two. It's also a heat engager. You can see by the little icon in the, in the info box. And uh, what's cool about this move is the fancy stuff he does with his hands. You will actually counter enemies' attacks, right? So I just put Kazuya on Mimic, so he just presses what I press. And as you can see, Leroy will counter his attack. So you can defend and attack at the same time with Leroy. And like I said, it's a heat engager, right? So it's also a pretty good round starter. When you're facing people that mash at you, it doesn't work against lows, but if you have people mashing jabs at the start of the round, you can you can use this to go into heat and do your thing. So another cool thing Leroy has is uh, back two. It is a parry. So in Tekken 7 it parried almost everything, even rage arts. But in Tekken 8 they nerfed it a little bit, so you will not be able to to parry heat, in, uh, heat uh, bursts and also not be able to parry heat smash, which is kind of weird. Even Raven can parry heat smash and heat heat burst so it's so it's a little bit weird that the that the parry character leo was the parry character is uh is not ha now has less tools than than raven uh, i will hope that they uh, that they will bring back a little bit of this maybe we'll get some buffs in the future we will see kazuya is doing a move and leo parries it when you parry parry it you can press one and then you can follow up with uh with an attack yeah there's also like a perfect parry window. You don't need to worry about too much right now. You just do the parry and you will see sometimes when you do a perfect parry, you get a nice animation and uh, you will do more damage. So if you're starting out with the game, it will happen, but don't focus on it. Just parry when you think you, you have to, but uh, don't try to go for the perfect parry. Uh, it's not necessary for you if you start out. So another fancy move he has is um, back one. Back one is so cool because it's a poke here, yeah? but on counter hit, look what happens on counter hit. That is really good damage. So you want to use back one. It's 13 frames, so it's not as fast as 10 frames, but uh, you want to use back one as like a, like a counter hit fishing tool, right? Because when you counter it, you deal a lot of damage. Another fancy move he has is his cane, yeah? His, his signature move. So that's forward, two plus three. And it's a launcher. You can go into a combo after that, into a full combo. He also can use down back two plus three to use a low cane to get a small combo. Beware, you can only use the cane once per match, okay? once per match and the range is really good as well you see use it as a as a like you said use it like a last resort tool but also do not do not keep it over like if you don't use the cane at the end of the match you did something wrong right so you don't want to waste your cane but also let's say you're it's your match point you're winning and it's the last round why not go for it and take the win if you can? Yeah, so it's a, it's a very good move. But you can only use it once per match. And the last fancy stuff I have with him is down back two and then one plus two. You can attack people on the ground with that. So let's say you throw the people down at the wall and they don't tech roll. You can follow up with this, right? That's his fancy stuff. Now let's talk launchers. Back one plus two. It's a counter hit launcher. 12 frames, pretty fast. And it launches on counter it. So use it as a counter it fishing tool in combination with back one. And you can launch people with back one plus two. If it's a counter hit, okay? Forward, forward two is another launcher he has. And it's it's a really good range. It's a very good whiff punish tool. That's launcher number two. N launcher number three you want to focus on is um, while standing two. So you duck and while standing means you let go of the ducking 
you just let the character stand up again and while the character is in the stand up animation you press 2. So this is a really good tool if you want to evade. You duck enemies jabs or highs and follow up with with the launcher instantly. And he has another launcher. It's a hop kick. And you can also use uh, you can also use this as a safe poking tool actually. So as you can see, it is only minus eight, so it leaves you safe. It evades it evades lows because he's jumping. That's the nature that's the nature of hop kicks. And another hop kick he has is uh, from Hermit Stance. We'll talk about Hermit Stance soon. But uh, if you're in Hermit and you press forward three, you will also... M that's, you, you, that's neutral. Zero. Frame advantage is zero, so back to neutral. But it has a, it has a higher startup. So beware. But it's also a launcher, okay? Now, what we do after launch? We, we combo, right? So... As with every character, I want you to uh, go through all the combo challenges just to take a just to get a feel for the character. And then uh, the combo we want to look at is uh, sample combo nine. So this sample combo, uh, let's pin it. And what I want you to do is now. Um, just uh, just don't mind the first part, the while rising two, it's this one here. Um, you can use any launcher you want to follow up with the sequence. So just learn down, down, forward, forward, and then two. It's, uh, it's this move, right? So you learn this sequence and you can follow up with this sequence after every launcher. So. Um, the Wild Rising launcher is the one that is displayed in uh, Sample Combo 9, right? You already saw that. You can also use uh, Forward Forward 2. And then you start the combo. You can also use uh, the Hop Kick. And then you start the combo. You can also use the Hermit Hop Kick to start the combo. And you can also use the Cane. If you're low HP, if you're in Rage, and you have the cane available, and you hit with the cane. You want to do this. So that's some really good damage, right? With the low cane, you cannot do the full combo because the tornado already happened so you see uh, the enemy is just flying too far away so if you happen to uh, to hit the low cane just keep it simple and use the ender right it's fine it's almost unreactable low so you can stick to that so where are we now we have some some pokes right do some poking game you do some counter it fishing with back one. Maybe you have to parry something. When you land a launcher, you go into sample combo nine. Now let's talk hermit. So the hermit stance, you can activate the hermit stance by um, three, plus four, uh, three plus four. Usually you don't uh, activate hermit manually. You want to use moves that, that put you into hermit and then you want to follow up. Uh, while you're in hermit, it is basically the same kind of stance as Osena has, just worse. So um, you cannot block while you're in this stance, but you can actually parry. And Leroy will automatically parry low attacks. So Kazuya here, he will be so kind to demonstrate that to us. So as you can see, Every low, you're gonna get your counter hit. And you're also plus 16. You have a massive frame advantage after that, so you make use of it. So I recommend for the start to go into Hermit, use back three. Also on counter hit, you have plenty of frame advantage to be able to do a follow-up. It also has good range. 
and it is a tracking move you can see by the by the blue sparks uh, by the blue lines or teal or you get what I mean right so it even tracks people who want to sidestep another great way to enter hermit is down three two it's a nice poke almost unreactable and after that you can do your thing so when you're in hermit I recommend three options option number one is uh, the hell sweep okay so the hell sweep is back three and then you have to press really fast one plus two if you press it too slow Leroy will not launch right so press it fast and uh, yeah, that's the sequence you can use. You can use this into hell sweep. You can use this into hell sweep. If you use it too much, people will probably anticipate it and start ducking. What can you do when people duck? So when you're in hermit, you can press one plus two one, and it's a mid. So it starts as a mid and goes into heat. So after you're doing this, let's say you did this two times you condition the the opponent to ducking you could do this right so it's a kind of simple it's kind of the same it's similar to the game plan you have with Azucena uh, you attack go into stance follow up with a low or mid mix up you condition the opponent to to duck so you can do your mid right also if you want to just poke low hermit 3 is fine can go into hermit 3 4 if you want but um, if you just want to poke that's that's also totally fine hermit 3 now let's talk with punishers uh, forward 3 3 forward 3 is like this but if you press forward 3 3 we'll also go into heat it's a pretty good with punishing tool it has good range it's a mid uh, if you only hit the second hit it's a high uh, but he is jumping he's airborne so you can evade lows with that. So I already had situations where I use it from here. I whiff the first attack and the opponent is going for a low at the same time. So Leroy is jumping and actually evading the low and then hitting. It works. But it's very specific, so don't just spam this move yeah uh, because it's a high people can evade that you want to you want to hit the first hit if you can another good whiff punish is uh, up forward two it's this one here and it has really good range look at the range of this move yeah so that's like uh, the maximum is like three meters really good move to whiff punish also good to counter uh, low attacks because the animation is a little bit longer than faster moves of course but Leroy is still jumping so if the enemy is using a low poke you will hit them and the last whiff punisher I want to I want to give you is uh, up forward three plus four and then one plus two so up forward three plus four looks like this as you can see it also has quite good range also Leroy is uh, he's jumping so he will evade low attacks you can use this pretty much uh, for example, after a knockdown, enemies uh, or opponent. I always say enemies, man. I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't think they're evil. I'm just saying enemy for some reason. Uh, must be because of my German heritage. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So the the up forward three plus four. You can use this when the enemy, for example, is uh, using a, a low get up kick. But uh, you can also then actually use this one to get a launch. It depends, yeah? Just keep in mind you can use this uh, as a punishing tool. And if you press 1 plus 2 after that, you can actually uh, follow up. I don't know what it is, but a lot of people, they press for some reason after they block this one here. So, for some reason, this works a lot. Maybe it's the, it's the knowledge. Leroy is not seen that much in online play, but uh, maybe people don't know. But a lot of people think when they block this, that they can then attack. So go through with it. It will work a lot of times, more often than you probably thought. So even if you miss this, the one plus two sequence will most of the time hit them. I don't know what it is with people. It is as if these people don't think that 
this attack has a follow-up, right? Then what I always want to do in my guides is I want to give you a power crush. His power crush is a forward one plus two. By now we know what power crushes are, right? It's a mid. That's pretty good. So you want to use power crushes to to eat the opponent's attack. If they're very aggressive, very spammy, use power crush to get them off you. And because it's a mid power crush, it's an armored move that has that hits mid. You can also you can also power crush characters that are very evasive. Like some characters, like June, for example, they have a lot of uh, launchers. Also, Rena, um, Shayu, but well, Shayu is a totally different story. But the point is, sometimes characters they will attack you at the same time they they evade highs, so they go a little bit lower, and then they attack you. But with this power crush, you can just eat their attack and at the same time hit them back even if they are evasive. Some characters have high power crushes, uh, they won't work against these, but Leroy can do it. And the last move I want to talk about is uh, plus frames. So Leroy also has a while running 3. It also has plus frames, so it's plus 6. So after that you can also, for example, go for a counter hit. Yeah, you can fish for that. So what did we, what do we got now? We got some poking. You want to do some pokes with Leroy. Then you want to start your combo if you get the launch, right? If you, if you happen to get the launch after some some poking stuff, maybe you'll even get a counter hit. Maybe you get a counter hit launcher. After that, you want to want to use the sample combo nine that I showed you. Opponent is at the wall. Maybe you can follow up with. Uh, with that little, uh, what was that? Ah, uh, oh yeah, I now remember. I'm getting old. So yeah, you can use the ground, uh, the ground attack, and um, you you whiff punish with uh, moves like that. You can use some some power crush, and uh, you can use some mix up into hermit. This way, or you use it this way. Yeah, this is the stuff that you want to focus on at the beginning. And uh, like with every other guide, I recommend you to play Leroy for like half an hour to maybe even one hour, 30 to 60 minutes. Just learn this, what I just told you. It's, it's, it's easy, it's not difficult. Sample combo 9, the couple of pokes. And after one hour, you're, all, you're, you're pretty much ready to, to hit the, the PvP. Just go into ranked, play this character uh, until you reach red ranks. And then you master it the... The basics you have a you have an understanding of the character you mastered his uh, his game plan you can build on top of the stuff that i just uh, talked about but with this stuff i i just gave you you will be able to to reach red ranks and have a basic understanding and a basic game plan that will work for you one last information i want to give you as you can see when you're in heat with leroy his chain punches eat a lot of heat but he deals a lot of chip damage. So his chain punches. Now look at the look at the health. That's a lot of chip damage. That's like that's like a third of the health bar, almost half if you if you have your maximum heat, just in chip damage alone, right? So keep in mind use heat to chip the enemy out just just apply pressure with chain punches when you're in heat it works pretty good at the wall as well um because it's also a psychological effect um with leroy punching so often it it puts the opponent under pressure because there's so many hit sparks and so many so many punch sounds right so uh, don't underestimate that um Stay calm when you play uh, when you play Leroy. Uh, you have to play more defensive. You need to play more uh, reaction playstyle. So that means most of the time when you want to play Leroy, you want to you want to figure out what the what the opponent character does. Uh, don't just mash away. It will not work with Leroy. So play a little bit more slower and play a little bit more methodical, and make sure that every move you do has also a purpose and an intention okay the intention to to also deal damage to hit and not just draw out moves mindlessly because if you do that Leroy feels very weak 
and um, then you might not. Uh, be it's not. It's not that he is actually that weak. It's just that maybe you just play the wrong game, right? Leroy plays. Uh, Leroy does not play Tekken 8. Every character in Tekken 8 has a... Not everyone, of course, but... G the general appeal of Tekken 8 is... There's a lot of aggression. Everyone is super oppressive. Uh, Leroy is uh, lesser oppressive. So... He feels weaker compared to others. But he's still very strong. If You just have to... You need to step down a bit. Just take it slower with him, okay? And then you will be successful. Alright, as I said... I will now give you a couple of uh, live match examples, so enjoy and learn the character. I think he's worth it. He's super cool. He's fun. If you want to take it competitive, the game just came out. You're not going to Tekken World till next week. Just just enjoy, enjoy the game. Have fun, right? And maybe over time, Leroy actually gets a couple of uh, little buffs. And then when he does, you, you are ready, right? Because I still think Leroy is really, really cool. And if you like the style, don't give up on him, okay? With that being said, have fun playing Tekken 8, have fun playing Leroy, and um, actually most of the viewers uh, I have at the moment, uh, as with almost every YouTube channel out there, like 90% of people watching, they are not subscribed, so if you can afford that, it's just a click of the button, I'd be very happy, I'd appreciate the support, it's, uh, it's not a big effort, so if you can do that, I'd be happy if you do. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
I came back.